Now let us study the effects of the moon's motions. Firstly, the phases of the moon and measurement of time. As a result of the moon's revolution around the earth in 29 and a half days, the position of the moon keeps on changing every day. Half of the moon's portion is illuminated by the sun and the other half remains dark. However, only some part of this illuminated portion of the moon can be seen from the earth due to the moon's motion along its orbit. This visible part of the illuminated portion keeps on increasing and decreasing. The night when the portion of the moon facing earth is completely illuminated is called full moon night or Purnima. On this occasion, the moon disk appears as a full circle. From full moon day, the illuminated portion of the moon starts decreasing day by day until one of the nights when the moon disk totally disappears from the sky. This is called new moon night or Amavasya. The changing shapes of the moon are called phases of moon. In the period from new moon to full moon, the illuminated portion of the moon keeps on increasing. This is called Shukla Paksha. From full moon towards the new moon, the illuminated portion of the moon decreases progressively. This period is called Krishna Paksha. The duration of each of these periods is of 15 days. Each period is called a fortnight. Shukla Paksha is the fortnight of the waxing moon and Krishna Paksha is the fortnight of the waning moon. Two fortnights add up to a month. It is called a lunar month. Thus, Due to the revolution of the moon around the earth, we have got month as a unit of time measurement. 